Hey everyone, it's Chris Loud. In this painting demo, I'll share with you how I create an intuitive abstract landscape painting by employing lines to emphasize form and direction. I'll explain the benefits of giving a 15 minute warm up art exercise, a second, and in this case, a third try, uh, and how it can lead to leveling up your art skills. So the prompt for this painting exercise is from 50 abstract warm up painting prompts. I'll leave a link to that download in the description if you want more information on that. The prompt is this. You have 15 minutes to paint. Colors to use are Thalo Blue, Cadmium Orange, Mars Black, and Titanium White, or the closest you have to those. The goal is to construct an abstract landscape with lines of varying thickness and direction. So I started off by mixing Titanium White with just a tinge of Cadmium Orange and then started playing with a few variations of the colors and uh, black and white to get a range of shades and colors to put down on the page. Um, like I said, this was my third go at this prompt. The first time I did it, uh, I, I came away with a very different look. And I'm not really sure I followed the, the prompt very well. Um, not that that matters. I mean, the prompt is to get you painting. So, um, But I, I did like the look of that, but I, I wanted to try it again with uh, more specific, um, I guess it, being more specific to following the guidelines. Um, but I'll show you that abstract warm-up painting at the end of the video. The second time I did it, I really liked it, but like most warm-up paintings, it was very rough. Uh, I liked where it took me, so I thought I would try that style again in this video and try and clean it up a little. Uh, it seems pretty simplistic at this stage, and overall this, this abstract painting is, but I'll show you how I made it more dynamic with more movement. So like I said, you know, I'm mixing these colors. This looks a little green down at the bottom. Um, that was a mix of the phthalo blue and a little little bit of that cadmium orange uh, with a little again kind of a tinge of, of uh, Mars black in there but as you put that down and then I'm using a uh, baby wipe to or a, that might actually a baby wipe or a wet paper towel either way it's the same same kind of result wiping away some of that paint um, will give you you know different shades um, different values of, of of that uh, of that color so right now I'm just kind of putting down a very basic looking landscape um, you know and I'm not real concerned with the values you know darker in the foreground lighter in the background although overall I think I, I somewhat did that but that wasn't really something I was concerned with on this it was really just getting down a variety of of um, colors and, and values uh, to to work with when I started getting these lines down uh, and so overall you know when when you're doing this initial stage it's it you know doesn't look great or anything but you know it, during a timed warm-up painting you're just moving against the clock and and trying to get some some colors down and um, get some kind of direction uh, moving here so like I said the the uh, the benefits of, of repeating uh, these prompts really can help you level up your skills. So, you know, each attempt allows you to refine and, and practice specific skills and techniques. Such, in, in this case for me, you know, it was brush handling um, and color mixing and composition. So the, the repetition ensures these techniques become more intuitive and fluid which increases your overall efficiency and proficiency. So now that I have these, these colors down, I'm starting to use a, uh, a marker. This is a, an alcohol marker, just a black alcohol marker. Um, you really could use anything. I probably would have used a Posca marker had I had one with a finer tip because I wanted to do variations in, in line thickness um, as the prompt was stating. Um, and I just have a uh, thicker um, uh, Posca marker there. So, 
Uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm starting to put these down. And in the first go, I was using a fine tip applicator. And unfortunately, I was just having so many issues with the paint coming out of the one I was using. Um, and it's hard sometimes to get a real even and smooth flow with um, those fine tip applicators. You can do it. It's just you have to kind of slow down. And, and when you're against the uh, you know, timed uh, exercise here, it's a little more difficult. So it was, it was pretty rough and, and uh, um, really didn't like the, the way that that looked in the first one. So I went ahead and, and decided to, to uh, use a marker on, on this particular one. But you can see it's just um, kind of uh, using these lines um, almost as like contour lines a little bit uh, like you might see in a map. But repeating timed exercises um, really encourage working quickly. Um, and you know that can help in developing a more spontaneous and efficient approach to painting. And over time, you'll find it easier to express your ideas on the surface, at least with, without getting bogged down by you know, perfectionism. And doing the, the same challenge multiple times also encourages you to be innovative and think creatively and try new approaches. And each attempt also allows you to confront and overcome different obstacles, um, which you know helps build resilience and adaptability in your creative process. And, uh, and repetition also builds confidence in your skills uh, and, and decision-making abilities. So here I'm taking off the uh, tape and I'll show you the final versions here coming up. So if you like this feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these feel free to subscribe and if you have any questions or feedback feel free to leave those in the comments. And I'd also love to hear you know when you do a warm-up painting is it is it kind of one and done or do you, you know, try multiple times? So here's the final version of this, and I'm gonna show you different uh, orientations because I actually really like the vertical look on these. Um, I actually like all, all four orientations. And here is the, the first attempt at, at that particular style. And I'll also show you the very first one I had. I used a stencil in here as well in the first one but a very different style uh, and very rough. So thanks for watching and keep on painting.